It is time to get dirty with the Extreme Outlaw Midgets presented by Toyota. Here at Stoops Freightliner, Western Star, Paragon Speedway, Brian Stanfield, Zach Dom to set the pace as we bring them off turn number four. Great flag is out. Let's do it. Stanfield through the inside and turns one and two. Will lead him down the back straightaway. Zach Dom close in tow. Side by side, almost three wide as they exit turn number two as Stanfield takes the 75 AU through turn three and four. Dom is there, battle for the lead. Off turn four, side by side to the stripe. Dom will lead lap number one. Nine one thousandths of a second separate Dom and Stanfield as the 75 AU with the advantage coming off turn number two. Stanfield to the middle part of the racetrack. Zach Dom doing what he does. Again to the inside. Dom to the top spot. Will lead lap number two. Zach Dom will finish off the 75 AU as here comes Gavin Miller. Battle for second as the 97 of Miller takes over that second spot. Hayden Reinbold in the 19 AZ working down low. Chase McDermott a little tight down low as he does a nice little wheel stand there coming off turn number four. Hayden Reinbold now to the inside of Stanfield and put the 19 AZ into the top three. For second spot again, Gavin Miller. The red and white Eibach number 97 trying to hold off the 19 AZ as they work off turn number four. Meanwhile, Brian Stanfield holds on to fourth trying to keep the 40 of Chase McDermott behind him. McDermott with a nice run to the inside coming off turn four. He'll try to go lower than the 75 AU and turns one and two. Side by side off turn two. Give the spot to the 40 of Chase McDermott. McDermott thought of going high. Crossover move to the inside of Robert Carson. A lap down. Cannon McIntosh now gets by Stanfield. Here comes Jade. Ryan Timms. Teammates going at it. Left rear inboard rotor glowing on the 71 for Jade Avedisian. Sparks flying on the mobile one entry. Crossover move, and she'll get to the inside of Brian Stanfield and take over seventh. Stanfield now back to eighth, possibly ninth, as here comes Timms. Timms in the JBL 67 now moves into eighth. Now looking at Kyle Bielman. Bielman in that 31B, running in 12th, and now Dom puts a lap on him. Zach Dom has lapped up to 12th with 12 laps to go. Here at Stoops Freightliner, Western Star, Paragon Speedway, and now caution lights come on. One stop to the inside of turn number four, and I believe that is Chase McDermott. Yes, it is. The Mount Stop Motorsports car number 40 was running in the sixth position. Zach Dom out of Pocahontas, Illinois, will bring the 7U off turn number four. Great flag in the air. We're back underway here at Paragon. Gavin Miller is there. Good restart for the 97. He comes off turn number two right in the back bumper of Zach Dom down the back straightaway. Miller shot out of a cannon coming off turn number two. Really reeled in the 7U of Zach Dom. Now only a couple car lengths separate as they cross the stripe. Looks like Austin Barnhill coming to a stop over there in turns three and four. The Metabo HBT Barnhill Investment 17B car. Great flag is out. We're back underway. Gavin Miller is there right behind the 7U as Dom pulls away just a little bit. Here comes Miller to the inside as they go side by side in turns three and four. Dom shuts the door on the 97 there entering turn number three. Veteran move by Zach Dom keeps the 7U out in front. Gavin Miller again working the bottom to perfection there through turns one and two. Maybe got a little tight there coming off turn number two loses some ground to your leader. Hayden Reinbold, meanwhile, still sits in that third spot. Taylor Reimer, Cannon McIntosh again, your top five. There goes the 40 car down to the inside of Reimer as they work off turn number two. That is for the fourth spot. Give it to Chase McDermott. Now Reinbold pulls away from the 40 as the white flag comes out. Last lap here at Stoops Freightliner, Western Star, Paragon Speedway for the Dominator, Zach Dom. Looking for his fifth win in 2023. His sixth career win as he works through turn three and four for the final time. Zach Dom will win and get it done here tonight at Paragon. And there he is, race fans. Let him hear you. Zach Dom gets the win here tonight in Paragon. We never got a blue off, you know, to where it got real slick. So it's pretty well just wide open around the bottom there. So it, uh, I knew starting on the front row, I had to, you know, that was a per primo spot to be. So I, I knew if I could just get by him early and set my own pace and 
I don't figure anybody's going to drive around me on the bottom. Uh, don't happen too often anyway. So uh, I just thought if I could set the set the tempo and I could set the race, that we'd have a good shot at it. And didn't know how big of a lead we had. I seen him stick his nose in there under the uh, couple cautions we had off the two, and didn't feel much pressure other than on the restart. So I uh, just just I really can't thank Steve and Janky and and Mandy and everybody that helps on this thing. It's a uh, it's not easy being in Tulsa, you know. I used to living in my basement at day, sometimes, and it uh, it's just really fun, you know. It's uh, rejuvenated enough to, to go midget racing, so can't thank them guys enough. And uh, we'll uh, hopefully we can keep riding this riding this wave. Yeah, I mean, basically the same thing. You know, I've been to Davenport one time. I've been here once that I remember. Um, I don't think I've been here other times. So it, uh, eh, I don't know. It's just a racetrack, you know. Like you got to adapt to it. Everybody's everybody's racing on the same racetrack, so we just got to adapt to it and. I think uh, my age probably helps a little bit with that. Uh, I've seen a lot, of, a lot more racetracks than some of these guys. So um, we just, if that's what it takes, that's what it takes.